Welcome back to a new year of Islanders Insider. I'm Stephen King. We're coming to you from the locker room today here on the campus of Texas A&M University Corpus Christi. We're going to be talking some Islander athletics with head coach Willis Wilson of Islander men's basketball and head coach Craig Shaw of Islanders soccer. We also have a special feature focusing on how you can make an impact with Islanders athletics. Right now, let's get things started, though, with the head coach of Islander men's hoops, Coach Willis Wilson. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing great. How are you? Very good. Very good. Um, let's go ahead and probably address the biggest story. The biggest story, and that, of course, was Hurricane Harvey that just came through. And, you know, how are you, your staff, and, of course, your players doing, in particular, a number of your players that are from the Houston area? How is everybody doing? You know, after a relatively quiet and productive summer, uh, this is supposed to be the time of year where everything is in a lull and you can kind of get your sea legs before the school year gets going. But uh, this has been one of the more surreal moments, uh, sure. uh, certainly in my time here on campus. Luckily for us, the school had not started, so all our guys were away from the summer and had a chance to get home and were in safe environments. And so we were able to really check on our guys. But man, here locally, and especially just 30 miles to the east of campus here, Boy, there's a lot of a lot of Absolutely. devastation, and and uh, just the, our hearts and prayers go out to all the folks in the coastal bend, and from the coastal bend through Houston, and all the way to the to uh, Louisiana. It's been a, a tough tough period for us, but uh, really really glad that we can help out and try to make an impact in, in a positive way. Absolutely. Well, let's go ahead and look back a little bit uh, to last year. Your team was. In the final of the College Insider Tournament, one of six teams to be playing basketball late in March. When you reflect on that accomplishment, how, how do you describe it best? You know, that's a, that's a question that hadn't been asked very much, and it's a tough question to answer. Um, it was absolutely a, a unique feeling to be playing on March 31st. It was a long year with all the work that the guys put in over the summer with a long season. You know, we got better and better as the year went on. And by the time March rolled around, it was fun just to be able to play sure. basketball. Uh, we did game prep. We did a little shooting. We didn't do a whole lot else other than really enjoy the experience in the moment. And I guess the best way I can describe it for me as a coach, it was fun to be involved with big time college basketball. And to, to have an opportunity to do it on a national stage was, was just as rewarding. Outstanding. Uh, after last season, Islanders all-time leading scorer and rebounder Rashawn Thomas, well, he's moved on. It was a senior, he's moved on, and it's currently with the NBA's Oklahoma City Thunder training camp roster. Um, what, what are the reports on his progress right now? It's been good. It's been good. There's been a little bit of a lull between now and, uh, and the summer league. He had a, had a good summer league. The reports back from uh, the staff at Oklahoma City is that he's done a really nice job, a guy that – uh, they can see fitting in their into their future. So I think a lot of that's going to ride on what Rashawn is able to sure. do uh, in training camp. But just to be able to get that invite back for training camp, I think is a very, very good beginning for him. When one senior class goes, another one, of course, steps in. Uh, you got some great talent and leadership in this upcoming crop, don't you? Yeah, we do. We really do. Uh, Joe Kilgore kind of picked up that mantle back in January when we made some adjustments with our uh, our personnel on the floor and off the floor, his voice got bigger and louder and more productive for us. And so going into this year, uh, Joe is going to be a terrific leader for us. One of the things that's been really fun to watch is he have a means uh, evolution into becoming a, a leader, very bright guy. And he's recognized some of the things that we lost with Rashawn. And so he's a guy that's done a, a great job over the summer of in, inspecting our pace and the quality of the things that we're doing on the floor, really uh, showing our young guys what the standard is sure. uh, to be successful in college basketball and especially for where we want to go as a program. Also wanted to uh, address something. Uh, you, you've got a few new staff members coming into the Islander <laughs> men's basketball family. Now a couple faces that Islander fans will surely know and another gentleman making his first stop on the island. Can you can you expand upon that? Well, let's start with the guy that uh, really was a hero for us uh, during our March run, and that's Cole Martinez is going to be joining our staff as video coordinator. I'm really, really looking forward to, to having Cole around and working with him. He's got a very, very high uh, basketball acumen. Absolutely. He really knows the game, knows our program, and I think that's just going to be a real plus for us. Another guy, uh, Joshua Irving. Uh, former uh, Islander. Played in the NCAA tournament back in 06 07, Island, yeah. uh, Islander champion is yeah. going to be joining our staff as a director of basketball operations. And 
Uh, I've gotten to know Josh uh, fairly well over the last six years and just really excited about what he's going to be able to bring to our program. And then uh, Kevin Yeiser, uh, Yeiser uh, comes to us, uh, did, a, did a long stint, started out as an intern with the Memphis Grizzlies. Ten years later, he's still there involved in so many aspects of, of the things that uh, the Grizzlies had going on, but comes highly recommended and a guy that's going to do a great job with their student athlete development. We're really, really looking forward to getting him on board. I think he's going to be a, another great addition. I think all three of those guys are fabulous, but I think we're, we're going to really be able to, to take some steps forward with, with uh, their support. Well, as the shows continue and we continue with Islander Insider, we're going to be updating people on some of the new talent coming in. We'll be talking about them each and every week and try to introduce some of those new faces and talk about what we're expecting to see. But, uh, Coach, I think we're off to a pretty good start. I think we've... We've weathered the storm, and uh, we're ready to go. And I want to wish you, you know, best of luck. Yeah. You know, we weathered the storm, and amazingly, we, we lost about two weeks' worth of basketball. Okay. But I think the fact of the matter remains with all the work that our guys put in over the summer. Basketball season's only four, four and a half weeks away <laughs> for the start. It gets it pretty quick, doesn't it? No, yeah. it's, it's coming quick. So we're, we're not going to have much of an off season yeah. uh, like we've had in years past. But I think with – all the things that the former players help establish sure. in this program, uh, we're going to be able to kind of hit the ground running, if you will, and, and get a lot of things done in the month of September. Good luck, Coach. Thank you. Right now, let's send it out to Tamsin Stonebarger with an Islander update.